Hi there. My name is Cami. I'm here today from the children's program at Care Dimensions. And today I'm here to talk about a feeling that comes along with grief very often. And that feeling is anger. Feeling angry after somebody has died is a pretty normal thing. It's normal to get easily annoyed or frustrated or feel plain out mad and angry. And there's lots of reasons why that happens and why it's okay to feel that way. It's also important to find some ways to release some of that anger because when we stuff it down deep inside, usually those angry feelings just get bigger. They don't get much smaller. If we can find ways to release some of those angry feelings, maybe they get a little smaller. So that's why I'm here today in my bathroom to talk with you a little bit about an activity you can do at home in your bathroom to help release some angry feelings. This activity can get a little messy because let's be honest here, sometimes anger and grief is just plain old messy. That's why we're doing it from the bathroom. So watch through this video to learn a way to release some anger and have a little bit of fun while you're doing it. To do this activity, you'll need some markers, some toilet paper, a big piece of paper or cardboard. I just used two pieces of computer paper taped together and some tape. And lastly, a bowl of water. So the first step is to take your big piece of paper and draw a target on it, a bullseye. And next, tape it to your bathtub or shower wall. The second step, now this is the hard part, is to take a small strip of toilet paper, just a few squares, and write down or draw out something that makes you feel a little annoyed. It could be something specific that somebody said or did. Maybe it's having to do a chore that you don't like. Anything that makes you feel a little annoyed. Got it? Good. Now get another strip of toilet paper, maybe a little bigger this time, and write or draw out something that frustrates you. It might be something that you have had trouble doing on your own or something you don't have control over like when the internet crashes during remote school. Okay, next, get an even bigger strip of toilet paper. This time, write or draw something that makes you feel really angry. Maybe it's something that just doesn't feel fair or really hurts you. Feel free to take some time to make a few more strips of toilet paper with words or drawings that show things that make you feel annoyed, frustrated, angry, or really, really mad. Once you're done, you can move on to step three. Step three is to take your pieces of toilet paper and your bowl of water and go stand by your target. Pick up the first piece of toilet paper, crumple it up, dip it in the water, and you guessed it throw it at the target. Feel free to yell or scream. Keep, your throw, keep throwing your wet wads of toilet paper, annoyances and frustrations and angers, and release them all. See if you can get them on the target. They might fall off. They might stick. They might make the marker on your target run. It's all okay. Just keep whacking those wads of toilet paper right at the wall and release all of those frustrations and angers. When you're done, take a minute to think about how you felt before you threw all that stuff and how you feel now. Anything different? Do you have more or less energy? Feel lighter or heavier? Do you notice any changes in your body? Are you more or less tense? Is your heart beating at a different rate? Take some time to just think about these changes. When you're done thinking, don't forget to clean up the mess. There are so many things we don't have control over and that can feel really, really hard and really unfair. Sometimes there isn't anything we can do to fix those things. 
but holding on to angry feelings can not always be so helpful. So finding ways to release it is important. I hope this is one way that you might try to release some of those angry feelings when you're stuck at home. Let us know what you think. Take care.